Okay, we're back. I'm your host, BKP. Good morning from the office. We're North Georgia's only live online morning show. And uh, if you'd like to reach us during the show or at any time, we have a 24-hour number. That's 706-889-9700. Or you can email me, chief at fetchernews.com. You can always uh, follow us on Twitter at Fetcher News or at FYNTV. Now, um, we started out earlier with the bombshell report from the New York Times. And supposedly, uh, the bombshell report is supposed to be about um, Donald Trump's son, uh, uh, Don Jr., uh, Jared Kushner. Um, let's go ahead and put, uh, uh, put the picture up I have. It's called Meeting with Russian Lawyer. That's a better picture of all of them there. And there's Don Jr., Jared Kushner, um, Paul Manafort, and uh, Natalia, I forget her name. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. We made a deal in here. We've both agreed that we're not going to attempt it. So Trump's son, uh, Trump's son met with uh, this Russian lawyer that has ties to um, the Kremlin, supposedly. Trump's son said, uh, said to have met with Russian lawyer after promising of damaging Hillary information. Two days after the New York Times reported that Don Jr.'s son, Don Jun Donald Trump Jr., uh, together uh, with then campaign chairman Paul Manafort um, and Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, but without Donald Trump himself being present, See, they still can't tie Trump, okay? They still cannot. Which way do I need to go? The opposite way to get out of that picture. They still can't try, tie Trump, okay? Can't tie him to anything. But supposedly they met, um, had met at Trump Tower with a lawyer who was allegedly a Kremlin contact on June 9th of 2016, shortly after Trump was assured of the Republican nomination, a New York Times followed up with a new article, one which seeks to explain one thing that was missing from the original New York Times article, the motive behind said meeting. As in retrospect, it turned out that members of the Trump campaign simply meet, simple meeting with a Russian lawyer was less exciting than New York Times hoped, okay? It didn't get the press they thought it would. It wasn't the bombshell that they thought. People out in America heard hey, Donald Trump Jr. met with an attorney at Trump Tower that could have had ties to the Kremlin. Really? Like, you know, so what they do as the New York Times clarifies in its sequel, citing three advisors to the White House, Trump Jr. agreed to meet with the lawyer, Russian lawyer, Nadia Velenskaya, whatever, only after allegedly being promised damaging information about Clinton. So let me guess. Uh, things have changed in politics, right? Things have changed. To where if someone calls you and says, I have damaging information about your opponent, you say, nope, nope, I don't want that information. I do not want to know anything about my opponent. Folks, there are things that happen all the time. I mean, even with myself, I have people call me, they say they know something or they have information. I have to hear them out. I have to hear them out. So Manafort... Kushner and Don Jr. say, hey, we got to hear this out. So as, as they're in the meeting, so they go, maybe they're enticed that they're going to be told something, all right, about Hillary Clinton, and it turned out to be about the Maninsky Act, okay? Now, in 2010, I think it was 2010, all right? I think it was 2010, the... Uh, Vladimir Putin got so angry with America, he cut off all Russian adoptions. 
Now, you might not think that's an important subject, but it is to a lot of people. The Russian adoption, Vladimir Putin cut off all Russian adoptions to America. None. Okay? And it was called the, I think, the Maninsky Act. So Don Jr., Manafort, Paul Manafort, Don Jr., and uh, Kushner go to meet with this Russian attorney, and she lures them there. No, oh no, a Russian female spy, right? Uh, lures the guys there with the uh, premise that I have damaging information I can share with you about Hillary Clinton. They get into the room. Okay, what do you have? You got to hear this out. What do you have? Okay. Well, I have this, this, and they're like, that's, what do you have? I mean, we're not hearing anything. Well, I really want to talk about the Maninsky Act. Okay, you want to talk about adopting Russian babies. All right, we're out of here. Now, that's just my take on the meeting. We're out of here. But they don't report a couple things that they're missing. Sketchy firm behind Trump dossier is stalling investigators, right? This never hits the front of MSNBC. This never hits the front of the New York Times. This, these are the kind of things, ABC, CBS. Yesterday, we have learned. Let me tell you something. When the media comes out and says, we have learned, okay, of, we have learned of, that's code word. CBS, we have learned of a meeting that wasn't disclosed of Don Jr. and a Russian attorney that may have had ties to the Kremlin. We have learned of a meeting with Paul Manafort. We have learned of a meeting with Jared Kushner. Okay? Sketchy firm behind Trump's dossier is stalling investigators. This is June 24th. A secretive Washington firm, a secretive Washington firm that commissioned the dubious intelligence dossier on Donald Trump is stonewalling congressional investigators trying to learn more about its connections to the Democrat Party. The Senate Judiciary Committee earlier this month threatened to subpoena the firm. What the Democrats, what the deep state, what the corruption is trying to do is get out in front of what they don't want you to know about the ties in that dossier and the Democrat connections. So there's a big deal that that server was never turned over. That is a big deal. So listen close here. Donald Trump is, uh, the dossier of Donald Trump is stonewalling congressional investigators trying to learn more about its connections to the Democrat Party. The Senate Judiciary Committee earlier this month threatened to subpoena the firm Fusion GPS after it refused to answer questions and provide records to the panel identifying who financed the error-ridden, error-ridden dossier which was circulated during the election and has sparked much of the Russian scandal now engulfing the White House. What is the company hiding? Fusion GPS describes itself as a research and strategy intelligence firm founded by three former Wall Street Journal investigative reporters. But congressional sources say it actually is an, uh, is an opposite opposition research group for Democrats. It's an opposition research group for Democrats and the founders who are more political activists than journalists have a pro Hillary Clinton anti-Trump agenda. So what does this dossier, what does Fusion GPS, what does this story from the New York Post on June 24th, what's three weeks ago now getting close to, Sketchy firm behind Trump dossier is stalling investigators. Why are they stalling investigators? We know it's a pro-Hillary Clinton uh, group and anti-Trump. Well, now when CBS and ABC and Chuck Todd and all of them, we have learned about this meeting. Have any of them gone and looked any further? Did you hear any reporting on this today? Anywhere else, 
Donald Trump Jr. gathered members of campaign for meeting with Russia lawyer before election. This is July 8th at 6.07 p.m. Okay, this is from Sir, Sirska. Sir, 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 Circa. Circa. This is from Circa. Okay, this is from Circa. And there's a point down here. I want to get down here uh, to... The connection drawn by President's lawyer between Valsalinskia and Fusion GPS comes from a letter this spring by the Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Charles Grassley, who discloses that Fusion GPS also provided litigation support to the Prezone Prez Prez case. Okay. I'm going to get uh, Grassley uh, pick this up, and um, I want to get one more point here that I have before I go to break. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a brief break. This is what we're going to talk about when we get back. The How come no one is talking about this? We're going to stay in the same segment, Sam. We're going to take a brief break so I can find out where I'm at and set up a couple more things. We'll be right back. Spider-Man isn't the only hero in town. Look, there's Pizza Man with Cheesy Bites Pizza. Thanks. And it's 28 poppable cheese-filled bites baked into the crust. Spider-Man has Spidey sense. Pizza Man has Cheesy Bites Pizza. He climbs walls. He climbs stairs. Spider-Man has superhuman strength. Pizza Man has, yup, that super cheesy, crowd-pleasing Cheesy Bites Pizza. No one out pizzas the hut. See Spider-Man Homecoming in theaters July 7th. Hello, my name is Chad Watkins. I'm the manager at Larry's Body Shop. We are a family owned and operated business and have been serving the North Georgia area since 1978. We are located at 1216 Progress Road in LOJ, Georgia. Our shop specializes in collision repair and we work with all major insurance companies. Larry's Body Shop is iCar Gold, the highest role of training recognized by the collision repair industry. It is estimated that only 10% of collision shops meet these standards. Our shop consists of state-of-the-art equipment such as laser measurement system, down drive spray booth, spot and MIG welding equipment. All of our paints are mixed on site so that we can guarantee your paint to match every time. I know that having an accident can be a stressful event. We take pride in making sure our customers are satisfied with the repair of their vehicles. Our waiting area is clean and comfortable with free Wi-Fi and refreshing beverages. So if you're in an accident, stop by and see us at Larry's Body Shop. Circuit World, brand name merchandise at unbelievably low prices. Furniture, appliances, and electronics. Circuit World is locally owned and operated, serving the tri-state area. Circuit World has highly trained professionals to help. Visit your hometown Circuit World today. Three locations in Georgia, Ella J, Blue Ridge and Blairsville, Franklin and Murphy, North Carolina. No credit checks, so let Circuit World deliver to you today. North Georgia Diamond is your source for diamonds. Come on in to view the area's largest selection of fine jewelry at North Georgia Diamond. All repairs and designs are done on site by our jewelers. And North Georgia Diamond has the lowest prices on loose diamonds. You can also sell your gold, silver, and coins at North Georgia Diamond between Walmart and Lowe's in East Ella J. Locally owned by Bill and Allison Craig, North Georgia Diamond is your source for diamonds in North Georgia. Hi, I'm Rhonda the Mattress Lady, and this is my husband Gary, owners of Mattress Over Stockton LJ next to Walmart. And we want to earn your business. From the time you walk in our door to the time we deliver your new mattress to your door, you will see the difference. Our selection and prices are the best in North Georgia, and customer service is our top priority. So y'all come on in and let us help you find the right mattress at the right price. That's Mattress Over Stockton LJ next to Walmart.
Okay, we're back. I'm your host, BKP. Now, where we where we left off, this, this bombshell from the New York Times that has no teeth whatsoever in it. This is how they opened the show, okay, uh, MSNBC this morning. First thing right out of the box, they opened the show with uh, uh, MSNBC. Trump's uh, son was promised damaging information, okay? Uh, you have that picture? Trump's son was prom. I think I have it. Trump's son, MSNBC, was promised damaging information on Hillary Clinton. This is this is what they opened the show with. This is it. This is uh, Muskrat uh, Minka and Muskrat Joe, okay, or Low IQ Minka and uh, Psycho Joe. Or dumb as a box of rocks, Minka, as the president would say, or Psycho Joe. Trump's son met with Russian lawyer after being promised damaging information on Clinton. They, they, this was the bombshell report this morning that they had to go with to open the show. Okay, put up Natalia again. And let me go back to, uh, let me go back to, the story from Circa. Uh, President Trump was not aware of the meeting and did not attend it, according to the lawyers. A trans, a translator, an American businessman working for a pro-Russian business lobby, also attended the meeting, which lasted about 20 minutes, according to the interviews. We have learned, this is a quote, we have learned uh, from both women, I'm sorry, uh, The president's legal team said Saturday, they believe, this is the legal team from the president, they believe the entire meeting may have been part of a larger election year opposition event effort effort aimed at creating the appearance of improper connections between Trump family members and Russia that also included now discredited intelligent dossier produced by former British agent named Christopher Steele, who worked for the U.S. political firm known as Fusion GPS. Okay? Now, I, I, the Maninsky Act, I, I don't know the details on that, has to do with adoption. I would just get, get it wrong without reading the details. But remember Christopher Steele? See, nobody talks about that June 24th article, sketchy firm behind Trump dossier is stalling investigators. They will not talk about why the DNC will not come forward with the server. They won't talk about the fact, what is the company hiding? Fusion GPS describes itself as a research and strategy. We know they're pro Hillary Clinton. We know they were hired to do the dossier with with Christopher Steele, okay? Now we have this. We have learned from both our investi- our own investigation and public reports that the participants in the meeting misrepresented who they were and who they worked for, said Mike Corellia, Corolla, a spokesman for President Trump's legal team. Specifically, we have learned that the person who sought the meeting is associated with Fusion GPS, a firm which, according to public reports, was retained by Democrat operatives to develop opposition research on the president and which commissioned the phony Steele dossier. The developments raised serious issues as exactly who authorized the participation in any effort by nationals to influence our election in any manner. What, how long can the Russian narrative last for these people? How far will they take it? Mueller uh, is investigating this, the special counsel. Um, Comey, why, why no lead story anywhere on Comey? And his, uh, let me find that. I had it up just a minute ago. I think I did. Uh, Let me stay with that. Uh, How about anything on Comey? 
Uh, we talked about this on the show. Let me get down here. Sorry about that. Where's the media on this? Comey bombshell FBI director leaked memos contained classified information amid the cut. Uh, Amid the constant media outrage over everything Trump, 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 some might have forgotten that the political roller coaster over the past 12 months, there were numerous high profile individuals involved, including not only former Department of Justice head Loretta Lynch, whose every interaction with, with Clinton campaign is about to be probed under the congressional microscope. But the man who, who we say who some say started all FBI director. Uh, Comey wrote memos, okay? All right. He wrote memos on all of the private conversations he had with the president, and there were several, okay? You see, Comey had to brief the president directly on several things on several different matters, and he wrote memos, these memos have classified information. The memo he gave to his friend to leak to the New York Times is a classified memo. Okay? I I don't know because I, I don't know all the details, but when the president of the, F, in, uh, of the United States and the FBI director, okay, when they meet one-on-one, -on -one, that's a classified meeting just in itself. I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, uh, pretty pretty much uh, when there's any briefing or any anything like that, that's a classified meeting right there. And those notes belong to the FBI. And those notes made it to the New York Times. Where is the outrage over every bit of that? Um I, I, do, I don't know. I, I want to go to a different subject, Sam. So you just go ahead and cut that. Go ahead and cut that segment, and we'll start somewhere.